I love this show so much. Me too. Both these shows. But let's talk about Meteor Both Shower first. Okay. Yes, oh, yeah, exactly. Detour. Right. The detour, of course. Right. Um, tell me what you first thought when you saw the script uh, by the great Steve Martin. I thought, this is weird. <laughs> um, and then I thought, I really want to do this. Yeah, it's so funny, and it's so specifically him. Mm. He's such a master of this uh, sort of absurdist style of humor. Mm. Um, and it's so funny. I like to imagine him playing all the parts because I can really hear him saying all these lines. Uh, so it's a really good time. We really like each other. Now, was the title, was the character's name Laura? Was that just Kismet? You know, that it was. It was Kismet. Yeah, I only take parts that are my name now. <laughs> that way you answer correctly. Exactly. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I mean, what would she look to you like on the page? What do you think of Laura when you first read her? I thought that she was um, a really sort of delicious exploration of parts of ourselves that we don't let out into polite society. And those are always the most fun characters to play. People who are not confined by typical social mores and values um and uh, you know a part I, I had a baby nine months ago so like a not a part people can't thank believe you it. there was gasps thank you the i always feel like when whenever i see like a pregnant woman or a new mom i just applaud for them because i'm like this is hard you're doing great um so yeah, so I, I just, I liked the idea of playing someone so outside of my life. Like right now, like backstage, I just had one toe p toenail painted. And I was like, oh crap, it's because I've been playing with a baby all morning. And then I was like, <laughs> frantically, they found nail polish and gave it to me. So that, this character is so different from me and from my life that it's really fun to play. Yeah. That's amazing. Can you tell me a little about the, the genesis, you know, getting the role, finding out who else the cast was? I mean, it's kind yeah. of boring. They said, do you want to do a reading of a Steve Martin play starring Amy Schumer? And I said, yes. <laughs> and then I did the reading, and then they offered me the part, and I said, yes. I mean, did the cast gel? I mean, the the charisma between everybody, the chemistry is so yeah. fantastic. We all did really like each other. Yeah. yeah, it all happened very quickly. Amy set the, <clears throat> <laughs> Amy set the tone right away. Um, she's just very real, very human. What you see is what you get. She's like a real girl's girl, which I appreciate. Um, so easy to work with, so funny, the fastest mind I probably have ever been around. Um, and we all, and it just kind of trickled down from there, the only trickle down that works. Yeah. Um, just getting really <laughs> political there you up go. in here. Um, I like that. Um, so yeah, so it's, it's mean, a good group. People, I think, when they see Amy Schumer on Broadway, yeah. a couple question marks come up, but she actually has a, a background in theater, Oh, yeah, right? I mean, she's... she studied theater in college. She started a theater company, actually, in New York City, so she is a stage creature. And also, stand-up is doing, you know, saying the same jokes from, from city to city and just having a new audience every time. So she's definitely, I think she's a wonderful actress. Her comedy comes from truth, which I think she's very real. Um, on stage, and she may have never been on Broadway before, but she's certainly done theater. So it's not like she's a stranger to to this type of acting. She actually did um, a play that Steve wrote uh, in college. So that's amazing. A little bit of uh, the forebearing right there. Yeah, I like that. Uh, you know, Keegan Michael Key. How is mm -hmm. he as a as an on stage husband? Oh, he's great. <laughs> you know, he's he's such a nice person in real life. It's funny because Key and I are both playing roles that are so different from who we are. You know, he's couldn't be kinder and like sweeter and gentler you guys um, are on like a double date and you're trying to break up this sort of yeah there's, there's a little drama around the situation. yeah it's 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 four characters two you know a husband and a wife two couples and um we go over to um amy and jeremy Shamus. we go over to their house and basically wreak havoc on their lives <laughs> um and i don't want to spoil anything of course but, not but there's yeah. so many great twists yeah, i mean when you're reading on the page were you were you cracking up I yes mean, it has to be so hard and I, I was also like oh i didn't see that coming there were so many things where there's so many twists and turns mm. Do you, really are there any lines that you were surprised at the reaction now that you have audiences sort of watching it? Some lines that you didn't know were going to play off as laughs yeah. or, or gasps? Or yeah, whatever. yeah. There were certain things that I that I was like, in, in rehearsal, I was like, oh, I don't know. And then we got there and it was like stopping time because it was so funny. And then there were other things where I was like, this is going to kill. And the audience was like. <laughs> so. So audiences out there laugh. Is yeah. what you're saying. Yeah, exactly. Come on, yeah. it's a comedy. Oh yeah, but our audiences do laugh. I yeah, mean, they absolutely. laugh so hard. And yeah, I don't, I don't, wouldn't want anyone to feel like laughter shame at a comedy. Um, yeah, that would be sad. Is it hard to keep a straight face with this yes. cast? Because oh my God. I mean, I, I have to say, I mean, I got to see the show. It was incredible. And there were a couple moments I saw everybody in the cast had their moment of sort of like, 
a little bit of a grin having to sort of it happens contain it. a lot it was actually happening to me for like a week straight and it was really bad and it was at the same spot but then it became like a thing where i couldn't get through it and i would start laughing just in anticipation of maybe i'm gonna laugh um but then we who was the culprit who was the amy. one who <laughs> it's always amy um but we got we got through it. We figured it out. Now we're totally good in that moment. But we we like making each other laugh, you know. And both Keegan and Amy come from a more um, you know like improvisational background. They're writers, so they, they it's not that they improvise words or write new words. It's just their style of being is very free, and that's I think really refreshing. And for me, it sometimes makes me laugh. I mean, the play was obviously so well written, but yeah. do you, once you started putting on stage, going through the rehearsals, all the way to opening night, were there things that were adjusted, changed? Oh, I mean, yeah. how much how much play did you guys have there? Yeah, I mean, um, Steve was very sort of open to um, suggestion, and there are, I would say, a handful of lines that were said when we were like playing that he was like, oh, yeah, keep saying that, mm -hmm. which is fun. And then a lot, a lot changed during previews, actually. The show from the first preview to opening um, had some pretty significant changes for the better. Um, I was really like proud of what we were able to do in that time period. And um, I feel like it made the storyline and the plot much more clear and defined our characters in a more particular way. I mean, what was it like working with Steve on this? I mean, this is Steve Martin that you're yeah. talking to. I mean, is it hard for you not to crack up at everything he's saying? Or no, he's 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 not like I'm telling jokes all the time. He he's he's very um, studious and thoughtful. He's very funny. He's funny even when he doesn't mean to be funny. But um, he is he's a very thoughtful person. You know, I, I wouldn't call him quiet, but he's certainly not like outgoing. Mm. Um, and it was a joy to work with him. He's one of my comedy heroes so it's at times it's nerve-wracking where i'm like all oh, right that's steve martin you know um so have you asked him about any of the films have you not not brought any of that up you're like no, no let's i'm keep trying it to be business. cool yeah. i'm trying to be cool that's gotta be hard though it is really hard it is hard because i mean i'm a fan um but i try not to bother him he's there to work i'm there to work you know maybe one day i'll i'll sit him down and ask him all my questions about three go. amigos um, exactly, Three Amigos, so good. Um, you know, with the rest of the cast, did you guys all have some time to bond? Did you guys go to dinners, or was it all just sort of the rehearsals, you the know, work, you know, sticking to yeah, that? Yeah, just we all have, you know, our lives. I, you know, as I said, I have a baby, and that so that any moment I'm not working, I want to spend with my daughter. So it's not that we haven't really had time to, like, go out with each other other than opening night. Mm -hmm. um, but our friendships have cultivated themselves backstage. You know, we spend quite a bit of time together. We were rehearsing from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. and doing the show at night. So naturally, it becomes a family. Yeah. You know, and that's what I love about the theater. Do you guys have any way to sort of kill time when you guys aren't doing your scenes? I, I mean, you guys are on stage. Everybody's on stage quite yeah, a bit. Yeah, we're, we're on stage a lot. I mean, we're not really off stage for more than a couple minutes at a time. So it's not like we're like playing poker and smoking cigars. <laughs> um, but downtime at the theater, I just immediately am napping. Like, I could take a nap right now. I'm actually napping. There you go. Yeah. So people here are wooing yeah. for napping at everything yeah. I want. Let's yeah. just, just snap That's right now. That's my fan base is nappers. <laughs> They know. I love that. I yeah. love that. I mean, you've gone through a couple opening nights, obviously, so far in your uh, Broadway career. Yes, you know? more so, than a couple. Exactly. So what? how does it feel? Does it feel different every time? How did this opening night feel for you? Yeah, it's, it's different every time because it's a different family. It's a different show. Um, this one was particularly uh, sweet for me in that I, I feel so happy in my life, you know, with my daughter and my family that... Um, I just feel very lucky that I get to do what I love and also have the family that I love. And um, doing a play is really fun and so much less stressful than doing a musical. So I don't have to worry about singing, which, you know, is really taxing. And um, so I had more fun at the party, whereas when I did She Loves Me a couple of years ago, I couldn't even go to the party because I was sick and I didn't want to lose my voice. So Vocal rest. Yeah, yeah. I was super sick and... I had to be in the next day, so I had to go home. So this was fun. I actually stayed out till midnight, which for me is like, whoa, <laughs> whoa, midnight. Yeah. I mean, it, I mean, you brought it up yourself. I mean, you have you've obviously done a lot of singing roles, but this yeah. character is a lot of sort of looks, you know, a lot of sort of <laughs> stare downs, you know, sort of <laughs> blankly looking, and yeah. you get 
your first laugh is with no words at all. Which I'd is say no. You, I'd yeah, say no. Yeah. It's a great no, by the yeah, way. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, you, <laughs> thank you too. Yeah. Um, you sort of creep up on somebody. Yeah. And the sort of the theater erupts. I mean. Yeah. How is that for you, sort of like working without words as much? I love it. You know, I I feel like so much of comedy is physical. Um, and so for me to be able to get a laugh with no words or one word is a real thrill and a get, you know? I mean, t tell us a little bit about the Broadway community. Obviously, you have, you know, Gypsy. I mean, uh, Singing in the Rain, all these films. That, never uh, all these, Oh, yeah, it, yeah, I've that, never been in Singing in the right, Rain. Right, 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 exactly. I mean, you know, yeah. um, all these things you've been a part of, but this cast, do they come out? Do they support? I mean, do you guys all stay in touch? Well, you know, I think you take, like anything, any job, you sort of take your friends from each show. Um, I have really dear friends from every show that I've been in. Um, but it's not like, you know, I'm still in touch with 40 people from, from each show in a very consistent basis. But there's no one that I'm like, I never want to see them again. You know, um, it's a really lovely community. Nobody gets into the theater to be famous or rich. You know, no one is doing it for the fame. They're doing it because they love it. And so you're getting sort of a... You're getting a different type of person. You're getting the person who was like the nerd in school and maybe was picked on, or you know, the person who sacrificed partying to be at dance class every day. And so you're dealing with a very specific kind of person, and and we're all sort of cut from the same cloth. We're these like theater beasts. We're these gypsies, and that's what I love about the theater, and why no matter you know how much TV I do, I'll always come back to it because for me it's my home, and and it's the people that I love to be around with the with the values and the the love for each other that is so meaningful to me. That's great. Do you get to see many plays now? Uh, well, now, not, no, not, not right now, because we're on the same before, schedule. You know, before yeah. you got to, did you get to see anything that you really loved or uh, you know, castmates? I w again with the baby, it was really hard because she was so little. Um, I don't, I don't even remember if I saw anything. I was sort of in a haze of not sleeping and or showering. That's gotta um, be such. That's gotta be kind of rough for you, though. I mean, you're a lover of theater. Obviously, mm -hmm. you want to see your friends perform, but you're all on the same schedule, so yeah. you're communicating like, oh, I want to see your play. Yeah. Well, you know, they do something called an actor. Fund performance, and all the proceeds go to the Actors Fund, which is a wonderful organization that um, that helps actors as they get older or actors transitioning from their careers into something else. Um, they have a free um, healthcare facility, so if you lose your your weeks for your healthcare and you don't have healthcare, you can go and stay well. Um, they're a really wonderful organization, and they really look out for their own. Um, so we do shows like that specifically so for actors to be able to come and see each other's shows. So that's always really fun. Yeah, that's amazing. Um, let's talk about the detour a little sure. bit. Sure. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Jason Jones, so funny. Idiot. This whole Don't like cast. him at all. <laughs> he's the worst. I hope he's watching this. How was that project when it came to you? I mean, what do you think about that? Well, I was super pregnant. Actually, I wasn't super pregnant. I was pregnant when they offered me the job, and they actually wrote into the script that I was pregnant, which I really appreciated. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, and so last season I was on a handful of times in a recurring role, and it was so fun. And I was like, gosh, this is just a dream job and the most fun I've ever had on TV. And um, then when they offered me a series regular this year, I was just so thrilled. The writing is so good, and the the... The acting, I think, is hilarious. And they're just really good people. You know, they're all really nice. And um, it's just a really free, fun set. Good people. What's it like to play a federal agent? Um, she's terrible at her job, so pretty... A bad federal agent. Yeah, she, yeah. I, um... I like playing people who take themselves really seriously. There's nothing funnier to me than someone who just thinks they are like the most important thing in the world. Uh, so that was really fun. What was not fun was having to don a huge pregnant belly after I had gotten rid of mine. Um, not they comfortable. Can't, they can't write that out. Well, yeah, I don't want to spoil anything, but I had to be pregnant a few times because it matches stuff from the season before. Um, but yeah, it's it's a it's a really fun show. What can people look forward to in this uh, season three? Oh, my gosh, a lot. Well, we shot in Calgary, Canada, which is so beautiful, um, but it, it's sitting in for Alaska. So the family sort of flees to Alaska, and I am in hot pursuit, and you find out why that is. Um, and it's a pretty awesome reason. It's so extreme. The show is so extreme. Is. I mean, the chases, everything like that. I mean, yeah. what's it like to do those sort of scenes? Um, I actually had to drive, I had to drive like an old mail truck um, in, in like a dusty dirt road like with my big pregnant belly. Thing where yeah, you like pull of. somebody out and no, I but I had to drive really fast in a 
vehicle that is probably not meant to go that fast. Um, but it was fun. They really look out for you, you know, but there is a sense of adventure and um, both Brennan and Jason are such like <laughs> boys for lack of a better word that they're just like, yeah, let's do it. And I'm like, oh, gang. But I mean, the, the difference between Broadway is you get to sort of, you can, you can break and you can stop a take. I mean, there are a couple yeah. of breaks. There's a lot of stare downs in some of those scenes. I yeah. mean, the season two, there are some interrogation scenes yeah. where you were doing a lot of looks. Were those easy to get through or there are a few moments? No, we that? definitely laughed. I definitely laughed. Jason really makes me laugh really hard. Um, so, and, and Natalie makes me laugh really hard as well. So, but what's great is you can be like, I'm going to do that again. They were too funny. Whereas on stage, I just have to turn around and be like, <laughs> pretend that I'm crying. Um, talking about television, you've uh, popped up on The Late Show a few times. Yeah. You know, playing Melania Trump, yeah. and you're so fantastic as that. Thank you. What's it like? How'd that, how'd that come about? I was um, promoting She Loves Me on Steven's show, and uh, he mentioned that I, I bore a, a, a resemblance to her, and they put side-by-side -side photos of us, and I was horrified to see that it was true. <laughs> and, um, and then I sort of made the, like, pouty face and then I never thought of it again and then um, after the you know famously plagiarized uh, RNC speech uh, they called me the next day and asked if I would come in and do an impersonation and since then I think we've done six I just did one recently that was actually one of my favorite ones um, so it's, it's been really fun you know it feels I feel so helpless right now that it's the one thing other than you know, calling my representatives and donating to the causes that I believe in. It's the only thing that makes me feel like I'm actually doing something, whether it's making someone laugh or calling attention to, you know, some ridiculousness that's happening. Absolutely. I mean, when they called with that offer, was that something immediate, you know, immediate yes, or was that something you had to Yeah, think well, about? I was five hours away in Delaware celebrating my grandmother's 93rd birthday, and I had just arrived. I had just gotten there that day. And they were like, can you come? And I was like, I just got here. Can you come like tonight or yeah, tomorrow? Yeah, like, can you come right now? So I had to turn around and go back. But that's I, how much I wanted to do. But And then I went all the way back the next day. So, so you were like cramming your lines while you were on the train probably, yes. right? Well, I, they didn't have lines yet. It hadn't been written. So I was just watching her speech over and over again, trying to get her mannerisms down. So how much, so they don't give you too much notice? Like the last one, did they give you? Two days. Day? Yeah. I had actually emailed a pitch to them saying, I think this would be funny. And then they added onto it all like the Christmas stuff because that had happened s since I had sent it to them. Um, yeah. So they've, it's, they're, they're really good to me over there. It's a really fun thing. It's so funny. It's so funny. Thank I mean, you. do you want to do more television like that? I, I mean, like comedy? You I know? do. Yeah. yeah my, my. You know, with the detour, with Meteor Shower, with, you know, Colbert, I love doing comedy. And um, it's something that I have been trying to do for a really long time. And or for whatever reason, was just more difficult for me to, to break into. Um, and now I feel like sort of a light bulb has gone off where people are like, oh, you're funny. And so that's... E even when you have a that's Tony nice. Award, they don't... Uh... Well, it, was, it wasn't for a comedy, you know? So I think, I think people think theater and they think very serious. And then also a lot of the roles I had done in like Supergirl in Nashville, they were dramatic. Um, but my heart is in comedy. It's the lens through which I see the world. And it's, it's joyful. I like to spend my days laughing with funny people and I like to bring joy into people's lives. Well, that's exactly what you're doing with this show. Thanks. I mean, d does it feel like it's flying by right now? Because I feel like people yeah. are, I mean, you guys have to snag the tickets if you don't have them already because the show run isn't as long as people would love. January you know? yeah. 21st, we're done. Yeah. Well, that's what happens when you have, like, movie stars in your in your play. They have to go be movie stars. Yeah. I mean, is it is it great to see people of all ages laughing at this thing? Because I feel like there's a lot of great, like, relationship commentary. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's a lot of sort of It's not time. for kids. Let's, let's, I want to, like, when Let's we say of all, ages, of all ages, adults of all ages. Pitch it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like 18 and over, 16 and over, maybe. Um, but yeah, I, you, you hear sort of younger people laughing at some jokes and older people laughing at other jokes. But I, I think married people in particular get a kick out of it because there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of marital jokes in there. I mean, I'm not going to spoil anything, but there's some sort of explosions. Yeah. There's some production value. Yeah. Does that go off flawlessly every time? Yeah. Or is that, or is that sort of fun? Yeah, exactly. yeah so is far. Is that fun to work with? I mean, are you at all surprised by when a big bang happens? Would no. You say? I mean, no, we know it's coming, and we cover our ears, and mm. yeah. Do you have a favorite piece of dialogue from the show or a favorite sort of... I have a favorite scene. My scene with Amy on the chaise, without giving anything away, is, <laughs> is, my, is my favorite scene for sure. She's, she is delightful. Makes There's me a lot of play between you two. Does that go the same way every time or is that no. something you sort of... <laughs> no, I mean, we say the lines the same way for the most part every time, but we definitely mess with each other for sure. 
Yeah. Is there sort of an agreement that, okay, don't overstep the bounds with improvisation yes. or the different moves, so yeah. don't, don't break it up? That's what's Yeah, in theater, you have to be, you want to be mindful of the playwright. Um, and in television too, like like with the detour, the writing is so good that you don't need to improvise. When they open it up and say, "Hey, go ahead on this take," and after you're done with the structured lines, do whatever you want. That's always fun, and whether they use it or not is up to them. But it's fun to have the experience. But you know, in the theater in particular, you really want to be mindful of sticking to the structure of the playwright's intentions. Absolutely. Okay. Well, we have some questions in the audience. All right. Uh, so we're gonna go there. Question. Hi. Hi. Uh, since you're a new mom and yes. you're doing so much already, yeah. is it hard to still balance it all? Yeah. Are you still it's not really having to sleep? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm really tired all the time. <laughs> My daughter's teething. Oh. Um, yeah, teeth are dicks. <laughs> um, and so, you know, she's, I can't be like, sweetheart, mommy had a play tonight. So you're, you, <laughs> I can't, you know, you can't cry and be up all night. Like, I'm her mom. Right. So, but now I find that I have to be much more precious with my time. So if I get an audition for something that maybe in the past I would have been like, yeah, I'll go to this. Now it's got to be really amazing or else I want to be with my kid, you know, or any job that I take. It has to be really amazing. I'm not just going to do a job to do it because I want to be with my daughter. And it's really hard. I'm sure, you know, many working moms feel similarly that when I'm leaving the house and she's like crying, it's really hard. You know, I feel terrible leaving her and. The only thing I can think to myself is I want her to grow up with a role model of a mother who loves what she does, but also is there for her when she needs me. And she is my number one priority. And, you know, I would drop everything for her. And, and I want her to grow up knowing that. But I also want her to see that that you can be women can be multiple things. You know, you can be a, a multi hyphenate. Um, that being said, you know, I, I think the, the hardest job in the world is probably being a stay-at-home mom. It is your 24-hour job, and I have so much respect. I get really annoyed when people treat working mo or excuse me, um, stay-at-home moms as if like they're sitting around eating bonbons or, oh all day, God. where you're like, no, you are in charge of a human's life, and that is all you do all day, and that is who you see all day, and that person sometimes can't talk to you, and they're just crying. <laughs> so I just... My respect for moms and working moms, stay-at-home moms, single moms, Ooh, the unsung heroes of this world. I just, I'm all about moms. <laughs> Living that mom life. It's amazing. It's Thank amazing. Um, next question. So true, Laura, because I'm a working mom. Um, so you're obviously doing a million zillion things. So way back, you were working on a book. Yes. Um, I don't know if you're still working on it, so you can share some of your comic wit with us. I I have not picked it up in a while. I need to get back to it. Once the show is over um, and I have more time, I definitely will. But as of right now, anytime I'm not on stage, I want to be with Ella. And then when she's asleep, so am I. <laughs> <laughs> For that solid four-hour span. <gasps> yeah. That's great. Okay, one last question. Okay. Hi, Laura. Hi. Um, so I saw Meteor Shower, and you're hilarious <gasps> Thank in it. Thank you. Uh, your dance moves are fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> um, no spoilers. <laughs> yeah. I was wondering if you have any like exciting projects coming up on the horizon. Well, I do. Um, so my mother uh, was an actress, uh, and then when I was born through... It's too much to get into. But when I was born, she um, stopped acting. So she recently, she and I have started doing a concert series together. Uh, so yeah, yeah. So she and I do these concerts, and she hadn't performed in 35 years. So that is um, a really exciting project for me. And then I do have other projects, but they're like in the works, and I can't really talk about them, which is so annoying. I hate when I see interviews where people are like, "It's so secret, I can't tell you." <laughs> but mostly, it's just that like it's not happening yet, so I don't want to jinx it. But it is exciting and cool. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to the concerts with my mom. For sure, it's one of my favorite things that I do. Well, we can't we can't wait for all of that. And Meteor Shower is out right now yeah. on Broadway, guys. Buy yeah. your tickets and detour uh, January on TBS. Thanks yes. so much for Thank being you here. For Appreciate me. it. Yes. Thanks, guys. Yeah.